everybody, welcome back to Life Under Deborah's Palm, the God stuff. Today, what I thought we would take a look at is the concept of, are you a Christian or are you a born again Christian? Which, in case you can't tell, just irritates me. It is one of those terms I just never understood. People will say, oh, I'm a born again Christian as opposed to, I guess, a run-of-the-mill Christian. And I just want to take a look at that and tell you kind of what's going on with that and what Jesus says about that. For me, when I hear people say, I'm a born-again Christian, it really, I don't know how to put this, but when I hear that, I guess I expect from those people um, some form of kind of a, I don't know, obnoxiousness, or as a kid in our youth group once said, when I hear that term, I want to go, yeah, okay, what's your story? People have great stories of how God did things for them, so that doesn't quite do it for me, but I always expect like an attitude, like I'm a born again Christian, and if you're not born again, you're going to hell. And that attitude, and very often, they do that, which is why I, I think that sometimes. So I just want to take a look at that. What does that mean? So are you a Christian? Or are you a born again Christian? There was a point in time years ago when I heard that term thrown around so much that I honestly, I thought it was a denomination. Literally like, oh, let's see. You're Protestant, you're Catholic. Okay, you're Protestant. Are you Baptist, Methodist, Assemblies of God? No, I'm, a, I'm in the born-agains. Oh, okay. That's not what it is. <laughs> There's no such a thing as a, a born-again denomination, if that makes sense. So where does the term come from? The term actually comes right out of the Bible. Jesus says it, and I'm going to read it to you from John chapter 3. I'm just going to read 1 through 6. It's, it's longer. You can go read it. You know how I always tell you to go read those things. But it says, now there was a, this, uh, let me back up. This is Jesus and a guy named Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a teacher of Jewish law, also known as the Pharisees. So here we go. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night, probably because he was chicken, but he came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, which means teacher, Rabbi, we know you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the miraculous signs you are doing if God were not with him. In reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. Now that also can be translated born from above, but the common translation is born again. Nicodemus says, how can a man be born when he is old? Nicodemus asked, surely he cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. So what Jesus is teaching Nicodemus is that we all enter the world in the flesh. You're born twice. Well, you're born once, you have an option to be born twice. So your first birth is literal, physical, we all got here. The second birth Jesus is talking about is a spiritual birth. We are made body, soul, and spirit. And your soul is a combination of your mind, will, and emotions. But God gives us all a spirit. What you do with your spirit and what you attach your spirit to is totally up to you. You know, people get themselves wrapped up in spiritual things that are not good. But you also have the choice to be born of the spirit with Jesus. And that spiritual birth is where the whole born again, did you hear me read it? You must be born again. We're going to get into that, or I'm going to get into that in probably the next video about how you get born again. Why are people distinguishing? Why are people saying, well, I'm a Christian. Well, I'm a born again Christian. I think that people
people that are born again have they've made the commitment or they've said the sinner's prayer which we're going to talk about in the next video they've said that prayer and they're distinguishing themselves from people who say well i'm a christian but they don't feel maybe that those people that identify as christian really are christian and the truth is some people sit in a church or whatever every week and do whatever they want they don't live any biblical principles and i think that the people that are born again are trying to distinguish themselves like oh i actually attempt to walk the talk as opposed to those that they don't feel are doing that and that's kind of created the whole born again, not born, Christian versus born again Christian. And I heard this, this gets thrown around a lot, and I heard this originally preached by Billy Graham years ago. My mom was a big Billy Graham fan, and when he had his crusades on TV, they were on in our house. And I, I watched it one night, and I heard Billy Graham preach this, and he said, Sitting in a church doesn't make you a Christian any more than going through a drive through at McDonald's makes you a hamburger. And his point was you need to make a commitment. And that's what Jesus is saying. If you want to be born of the Spirit, you know, you need to make that commitment. Hanging around in a church does not make you a Christian. And I think that when the born again people are trying to distinguish themselves, maybe as, I don't know, more legitimate, I don't use that term. If people say, what are you? I just say I'm a Christian. Because I just read it to you. By biblical definition, you are not a Christian unless you're born again. And you can sit in the church and you can say, I go to a Christian church. So I really think that's, that's what's going on with that. Um, like I said, I just, I don't, I just don't love that term. I know it's biblical. People have, my friends are like, why do you not like that? It says it right in the Bible. Jesus said it. I know, but it just seems like it's been kind of, I don't know, used to beat people up or used to almost an arrogance sometimes like, oh, I'm a born again Christian and here's blah, 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 blah. That bugs me. That's, it's just me. I mean, you can totally disagree with me on the whole thing. But I am telling you the biblical definition by Jesus is that if you are a Christian, you are born again. If you are not born again, you may have been raised in a church or whatever, but it really is not going to make you a Christian. So that's the difference that's that's what's going on there um just because someone tells you they're a christian doesn't mean they're born again and then again it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not um, my friends who are born again christians they don't say stuff like that they just say you know i'm a christian that's it i hope that helps kind of explain it it it, it may I guess not straighten everything out because it, it kind of doesn't, but that's, I think, the reason that people got into that whole I'm a born again kind of thing. So next up, I'm going to look at the whole concept of how you get born again, what the Bible says you need to get born again, and what's kind of notoriously gone on with Christians and in churches on how you get born again. That'll be a next week thing. So have a blessed day.